this video we'll look at how to create a rendered image in Vertex BD. Please note you will need the visualization option active on your license to do some of these commands. The easiest way to see what a 3D model will look like when rendered is to hold shift and press P on the keyboard. This will do a quick 3D render of the model adding in default light. You can then get more in depth perhaps changing the look of certain materials within the model. For example if I wanted to change the look of the brickwork I can click into the rendering tab and choose edit by category, then select the element I wish to change and all elements with that material category will be changed. I can then alter the material from the English brick type by clicking browse. This will open up the vertex database of textures from which I can choose a new type. In this case I will click into bricks and then choose the brick type I require. One particularly useful texture type is the shadow catcher in the miscellaneous folder. This could be applied to a floor slab for shadows to fall onto it, and makes the render look much better. With this done, I can then use the view menu to set up an appropriate view. In this case, I will use walkthrough and stop when the view is as required. We can then add lighting to our model. Firstly, in the rendering tab, click the Load Studio button. This will allow you to pick from different predefined light setups, but note that higher quality ones will take much longer to render due to many more passes and light sources. In this case, I will choose default and click OK. If I then wanted to add an additional light source, perhaps to mimic the sun, I can click Add and then choose an appropriate light, perhaps distant front right. I can then alter the properties of this light, changing the intensity, the light color, and finally rotating it to the place I require using the slider. I can also change the lighting using the modify button. For example, the environment light looks to be too high in intensity. I can click this entry, then click edit and reduce the intensity accordingly. I could then click the render button to preview this. With the lights now finalized, we can now choose a background. First click the background button in the environment section of the rendering tab. Now choose the background from the library. The scaled image backgrounds are very useful for bigger images. I will choose one of the studio types and double click its thumbnail. Finally, to export the render, I can use the Save Rendered View. A new rendering tab will open over the project document browser. Here you can define the image size, unchecking window size and choosing an appropriate image size from the drop down, as well as the image type. If we leave environment latency checked, it will use the light we have set up. A high res studio would increase the number of samples for example. We can then alter the image file type and location with the button here. Finally, press render to save the image. The image will render and this could take some time depending on the options used. This concludes our video on the rendering and visualization functions within Vertex BD. Thank you for watching.